Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Day five of mobile learning. We're opening with prayer and I will go ahead and read to you the story of Lazarus. I hope you like it and um, I think you'll enjoy this, this story. So let's bow our heads. Thank you, Lord, for the fifth day of learning, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to keep teaching my students, Lord, about you. Please bless all their families and um, bless the teachers and help us to have a great weekend. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, I hope you enjoy the story. Lazarus. Not long ago, before Jesus was to die on the cross, his friend Lazarus became very sick. Lazarus's sister, Mary and Martha, sent a message to Jesus asking him to come and heal Lazarus. They waited for Jesus to come, but Lazarus got sicker and sicker. Then Lazarus died. His friends and family wrapped his body in cloths called graves cloth. They put him in a tomb and they sealed, sealed it up with a large stone. Lazarus had been dead for four days and everyone was still very sad. They were also sad that Jesus hadn't come to heal Lazarus. Then someone told Martha that Jesus was coming. Martha went to meet Jesus. She said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Even now, I know if you have, if you ask God anything in his name, that he will give it you. Martha believed that even though Lazarus was dead, Jesus had the power to give Lazarus back his life. Jesus said to Martha, your brother will live again. Martha went to tell Mary that Jesus had come. Mary left the house and went to where Jesus was. She was crying. Mary fell down at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, Jesus, Lazarus would not have died. Jesus was very sad to see Mary's tears. He cried too. Then Jesus said, Where is Lazarus' body? Mary showed Jesus the tomb. He saw that a large stone had been rolled in front of the opening. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha said, But Lord, Lazarus has been dead for four days. His body will smell bad. Now, Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So the people rolled away the stone from the tomb. Jesus looked toward heaven and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I am saying this so that the people who are standing here will believe that you are the one who sent me. Jesus then faced the tomb and shouted, Lazarus, come out. The people were amazed to hear Jesus' words. They were even more amazed to see Lazarus standing at the entrance of the tomb, still wrapped in his grave cloths. Jesus said, unwrap the grave cloths and let Lazarus go free. Because Jesus had given Lazarus life again, many people believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God. Mary and Martha learned to trust Jesus even more. They learned that Jesus is never too late. So boys and girls, whenever you feel that you're doubting Jesus, do not doubt him because he will come in his timing and he will never let us down. All right? So this is the worksheet that you're going to work on. And this is a picture of Lazarus and the rich man. Now, who do you think loved Jesus and believed in him? Do you think that Lazarus um, loved and believed in Jesus? Or do you feel that the rich man did? I feel like the rich man is a story about a man that thought that everything that that was made of gold and silver and money and everything that was material that was going to make him happy. 
Well, it's not true, boys and girls. You know that what makes us happy inside our heart, right, is Jesus. So I would choose Lazarus because he's the one that believed that Jesus was the one that truly made him happy, right? And that's the one that didn't, that's the person that did not rely on riches and gold. And this rich man right here one time saw Lazarus laying and he didn't even help him. He did not help Lazarus. He just turned around and thought that, mm, I don't need to help him. He's going to be fine. And that is not true. Remember, God wants us to do unto others as you want them to do unto you. So you're kind, then they will be kind back to you. You're kind to your friends, they will be kind to you. Remember that, all right? So on the back of the sheet are three things that the rich man has that he thought that that would make, them, make him happy, but nope. I'm so glad that he finally decided to follow Jesus. You see that? But if you look carefully, there are three things that, that you can circle that the rich young ruler loved. He loved what? Money. And he loved gold. And he's wearing gold, right? But I'm so glad that he decided that's not what makes me happy. Jesus is the one. So look carefully and circle three things and then have fun coloring the sheet. All right. I hope you enjoy the paper and I hope you enjoyed the story of Lazarus. And remember, boys and girls, never give up on Jesus because he never gives up on us. All right. So be strong. Have a wonderful weekend and make good choices. Jesus loves you and I do too. All right. Bye.